Hey guys. We had a Facebook follower ask us about our snake neck slash side neck turtle enclosure that we have them outside. So I'm just going to do a quick video on these guys and how we have them set up and also our Florida soft shells, how we have those guys set up as well. Um, we basically have this big tub. It's one of those horse feeder tubs. Uh, I don't know how many gallons it is. We'll write it in the comments below once I figure it out. But we just have um, water in here, water in here. We have some rocks, some things for them to climb on. We have duckweed, water lettuce. This thing is just floating in here just to give them some shade because it gets hit here pretty good. We also um, cover it with a, just a portion of it with a piece of board or a piece of wood just to give them some shade. Um, we prefer to keep these guys outside for as long as we can. Everybody outside in the summer for as long as possible. The sun is the best thing for them. It's better than being in a tank indoors. It's better enough that they have to be inside in the winter here in PA. They have to be inside for quite a few months because we have pretty much a long fall winter season. But they're doing really good in here. I mean, they get a little shy once we put them out here inside. They're a lot more outgoing. They actually come over to you when you feed them and they look for you. But out here, they kind of in that little survival mode. They, you know, they know they're out in nature and they're a little bit um, more reluctant to come over. So um, to feed them, I have to really look for them and feed them and make sure that they're eating as opposed to inside when they would just snatch food from, you know, they grabbed the, the tongs along with the food because they were so aggressive, but. That's okay, we don't, we don't mind them um, being a little less aggressive, just happy that they're out in the sun. So that's their setup. I actually just got a really cool, um, aerator that works on solar we had one for the wood turtle the ornate wood turtle pond but i just bought a new one and it's a little bit more advanced and we have that in with our european ponds that we just put out here there's one hi there's one of these guys right here hey buddy but um yeah this thing it's a solar powered um, aerator and it actually came with a tube with two air stones and it has a um, a port where you can charge it so you can charge it up if you're gonna have cloudy days or you could put one of those um those little portable chargers that you could charge up for a certain amount of hours plug it in and let it run off that if you're gonna have some days that aren't sunny which is actually pretty cool but it works really good it was only 29 bucks so I'm probably gonna get another one for the snake necks and also for the Florida soft shells, which I am going to show you right now. They're just in a small pond, a little liner pond that we we bought thinking we were gonna make a pond with it, but it's too small for a real pond. So we're just using this just on our deck. And this is filled with sand. Actually, there's some shrimp in there for these guys. There's a thick layer of sand on the bottom because um, the Floridas like to burrow. They like to um, hide under there and come out. They just peek their heads out when they want to eat, when they're looking for food. But um, yeah, so there's a nice thick layer of sand for them to grow in. Again, we have hyacinth, uh, water lettuce, duckweed, some rocks in here, some things for them to climb on if they want to bask, but they don't bask, but it's an option. And um, every, um, it's been so hot here, it's 97 degrees here today. But um, every, you know, couple of days, just kind of fill it up with some nice cold water because it sits in the sun right now there's no sun here which is good because it needs a break but it sits in the sun pretty much all day in the morning and most of the afternoon so um it's good to get uh nice cool water in there because otherwise it gets too warm and the plus it's black so it just attracts the sun even more but um yeah so those are our water setups the only other setup we have in an enclosure is for the reeves and our two maps which we have in this long tub right here and we have a couple frogs in here but um oh, I just heard somebody jump but same thing these guys don't have any sand on the bottom but um they have uh, water lettuce here's Reeves he's a juvie we got him from our buddy Michael in California we got him um, and the female this is uh, Seymour and Edna's in here as well and then we have two Mississippi map turtles in here 
we had these guys pretty much almost the longest. They're just uh, two basic map turtles. Pretty small, pretty pretty easy. They're, this is their first season outside. So um, they just hide and eat when they're when they think it's safe. But yeah, so that's the uh, Reeves. Make next. Here on the deck. Like I said, we have this kennel put on top just to keep anything from trying to dunk in there, a bird or whatever. And then just to give them some shade, just put a piece of wood plank over there, give it a little bit more shade so that they don't get too hot. hope this video was helpful and we would really appreciate it if you subscribed to our YouTube page, liked our videos, and followed us on Facebook. Have a great day!